Hey guys, so today I'm here with yet another episode of D3 Live. And actually it's going to be a little bit different today. So today we're going to be talking all about Google Chrome OS as well as the CR48. Um, so if you missed it, I was actually uh, fortunate enough to receive one of these from Google. And of course I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about it and I'll be doing a review and everything. Uh, but for today on D3 Live, it's going to be all about questions. Uh, Chrome OS is a very different animal than what you might find in you know Windows or Mac or Linux. So I want to go ahead and take this opportunity to talk a little bit about it, answer some questions, because like I said, it's very different, and you know, a lot of people don't quite understand the whole premise behind Chrome OS. So we're just going to go ahead and take a bunch of questions today, and hopefully help you guys understand Chrome OS a little bit better. Okay guys, so uh, can Chrome OS play StarCraft 2? Uh, no it can't. The thing with Chrome OS, and I, you'll find me saying this quite a few times, is that it is a browser. You, it's not like a typical computer that you're used to. There's no desktop, there's no menu, there's no programs. When you turn on the computer, you log in and you're in Chrome. There's no minimize, it doesn't go away. You're, the whole OS is Chrome. Uh, so you're, you know, you're not able to install any programs or anything like that. Uh, now there are some workarounds with this. Um, you do have web apps such as Gmail, uh, you know, GrooveShark, um, a wide variety of actually some really good web apps that can replace a lot of the stuff, for example, Google Docs. Uh, but there's no real gaming besides what you can get on the internet. So, um, to pre pretty much to answer your question, no, you can't play StarCraft 2 or any other major game like that. Um, with Chrome OS, will games with high requirements run? Um, if you're talking about the uh, for, as far as the online games go, um, no, actually, I think that, that it should be no problem. Uh, the way it works is there are quite a few, obviously, Flash games as well as uh, other various games based on HTML5. Um, as far as those games go, I'm pretty sure all these developers are keeping the uh, Chrome OS in mind as far as you know how they develop. Uh, one cool thing about Chrome OS, because it is of course based on the internet, is that you know if you make something, you know, it's, it's just like a website that you go to. So it's not like it's only going to work for Chrome OS or whatever. It's going to work on any computer with a web browser, which is definitely a very nice thing. So um, as far as the system requirements go, most of that won't be an issue at all. Um, what does Chrome have over Windows? I, I think that's a question a lot of people are going to be asking. Um, one of the biggest things about it is the it's the speed. Um, you know, this is going to be compared mostly to like a netbook. So you're not going to be comparing you know Chrome OS computer to you know a really powerful desktop or an iMac or something like that. You're going to be comparing this to perhaps a tablet or a netbook or a lightweight laptop. You're not going to be comparing it to something major. So as far as that goes, what you're going to be wanting to pick up Chrome OS for is for the browsing. So you know, this whole the whole computer is designed around getting you on the internet, browsing quickly and you know very simply. So um, it's really quite fast boot up time. It takes about ten seconds to boot. Um, as far as putting it to sleep and waking it up, almost instant. You you, you know you close the lid, you open it, you're already back on. You know just like you know you can let it be in the sleep mode for five minutes or five hours or five days. Um, you're going to be right back to where you were almost immediately. Um, that's going to be one of the major things. Another thing is going to be security. Chrome OS is, again, because it's very different from a standard operating system like Windows, um, it's going to be very virus proof. Uh, well, okay, I don't want to say vi virus proof. Anything can get a virus, but it's going to be really quite good against viruses. Um, you know, it's got a lot of security features in mind. For example, if there's any kind of issue with the operating system, it will automatically reinstall itself when you turn it on. Um, and of course, it's got a lot of really cool things as far as the security goes. So. Probably the two biggest things about it is it just going to be that you're going to have um, pretty good security and it's going to be really good for browsing the internet. Uh, does Chrome OS require Java? No, it doesn't, and that's actually a minor negative. Um, that, no, Chrome OS does not support Java or require it or anything. So for online games such as Minecraft or well, for pretty much anything that uses Java, Chrome OS does not currently support it. Now, I do want to keep in mind it does not currently support it. Now, Chrome OS is a work in progress. It is not done. It's not released. You can't go buy a computer with it yet. Um, so there's a very good chance that new computers, and uh, as they continue to build out Chrome OS, they might add features such as Java. However, at the moment, there is no Java support. What happens if you plug a USB device into it? Um, it, it depends. Um, for example, I'm actually using a mouse right now. Um, it does have the CR48 does have a single USB port. Um, you can go ahead and plug in a mouse, uh, and you know that will work just fine. Um, now, as far as other things that you can plug in, as far as USB, there's not a whole lot. Um, you can go ahead and plug in USB flash drives and USB hard drives. Um, it kind of supports it right now. It's not 100% complete, but you will probably be able to do, uh, you know, mouse, keyboard, or maybe not keyboard. I'm not, I don't want to say that, but you can go ahead and put mouse uh, and various USB drives. 
Um, again, though, I do think that they were planning on extending that out to a few other things, but for now, just mouse and just, you know, a hard drive. Uh, does Adobe Flash Player run on Chrome OS? Yes, it does. Uh, Chrome does have full support for both HTML5 as well as Flash Player. Uh, now, on the CR48 that I have here, Flash works. Um, it's not hardware accelerated, though. So, because this is only based on an Intel Atom chip, Flash can kind of get a little bit uh, laggy. For example, you really don't want to watch any more than, you know, like a 360p uh, YouTube video. Um, you know, watching videos on Hulu is kind of, well, it, it is choppy no matter what you do. Um, however, that's more of a software thing. I do believe that before Chrome OS goes, you know, final, um, that Flash Player will be updated with hardware acceleration, which should make a lot of the videos and a lot of the games run a lot smoother. Uh, can you add more storage to the notebook and install Mac OS X or Windows? Um, as far as adding storage goes, not particularly. Um, the, uh, this one itself does have a 16 gigabyte solid state drive, which is not much compared to you know Windows or OS X. However, because you know Chrome OS really doesn't store anything on there, 16 gigabytes is fine. Um, now, as far as the CR48 goes, yeah, you can actually hack this as much as you want. There's a little switch underneath the battery uh, that you will go ahead and just you know install Windows, Linux, OS X. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, so. The thing is, though, is that most of the uh, Chrome OS computers, once they're actually available, we're not going to be able to let you do anything like that. What are the advantages against tablets? Uh, well, that's, I think that's going to be one of the biggest questions about Chrome OS, because it's not really going to be competing with Windows or OS X or anything. What it's really going to be competing with is as a secondary device to get on the internet, um, perhaps against a tablet or maybe even you know, a smartphone such as the iPhone or a Droid. Um, it's just going to be a secondary way to get on the internet really quickly. Um, now, as far as that goes, I wish I had the answer to that. That's really going to depend on a lot of different factors. Um, you know, one thing I do see tablets, of course this year is going to be big with tablets, is that they have a touch screen, which Chrome OS does not. Uh, now, there very well actually might be Chrome OS tablets, and as well as, of course, Chrome OS netbooks with a touch screen. Um, but for now, it's just going to be, you know, just like a standard netbook. And so, tablets do have a big advantage. You, know, you can download apps, you know, play games, you know, do a lot of different things. Um, whereas Chrome OS is a lot more uh, you know, limited in scope, so um, it's, it's, it's kind of a hard thing. I can't just say one's better than the other, but tablets do give you a lot more uh, you know, d different features and more things that you can do with it. Um, can you stream online videos faster than Firefox or Safari with Chrome OS? Uh, well, th that's one thing. Chrome OS is basically the Chrome browser. Um, you know, if you get down to the technical, technical bits, uh, it's a stripped down version of Linux that runs Chrome. Uh, so, pretty much what you can expect is the same performance of, uh, you know, Chrome on the PC or Mac or whatever, you know, I mean, it's, it, Chrome is a very fast browser, I would say probably the fastest browser available, maybe not in all t tests and everything, but very fast, and so, yeah, you're going to be able to browse the internet, um, you know, really quite quickly, probably a little bit faster than what you, if you had Safari or Firefox, if it was possible to install, which it is not, you do have to keep Chrome, but, uh, so, as far as online video streaming goes, uh, that's probably going to be more up to your internet, so I don't think that will make a big difference. But as far as, you know, just browsing, Chrome OS is going to be pretty fast. Um, is Chrome OS good with a dual core? Um, I wish I could answer that. Uh, the CR48 is only a single core uh, Intel Atom processor, so it's not particularly powerful. Um, I do believe that they actually will have dual core uh, you know, Atom chips and perhaps even more powerful in the future, which I would love to see. Uh, this, this, It's pretty good. I mean, for example, I had like about... 28 or 29 tabs open the other day, just kind of testing it out, and it was able to open them. I mean, of course, it was very laggy, but you know, it, it's it's powerful enough where it can you know do quite a bit. Um, but with the dual core processor, I definitely think that, that would be a big step up, and I would absolutely love to see that in future Chrome OS notebooks. Um, do you think that Apple would make an iTunes web app or web, or jailbreak web app for iPhone? Um, that's actually a, a pretty good thing. Um, it's, of course, because this doesn't have local storage, you can't do iTunes, whatever. If you want to listen to you know music, you're gonna pretty much have to find something like Groove Shark or some other online streaming. That's pretty much the only way you're gonna be able to do it. Uh, now, personally, I'm a big fan of Groove Shark. I've you know I listen to Groove Shark anyway, so it's no big deal to just you know listen to it on the CR48. Um, now, as far as Apple and iTunes goes, uh, there have been a lot of rumors for quite a while about. You know, are they going to have some kind of online streaming? And I do think that will eventually happen, but if it does, I doubt that they're making it just for the uh, Chrome OS. I think they're going to be doing it just for a wide variety of things. But um, if it does come, I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever. I don't see any reason why you couldn't do that with the CR48. Um, so how long does the battery last? Uh, well, of course, it's going to vary uh, because the CR48, what I have here, is not going to be on sale. You're not going to be able to buy one of these. 
Um, you're probably going to be able to buy, you know, netbooks, just like, you know, what you're going to expect to get with Windows today, just with Chrome OS on them. So the battery life is going to be, you know, totally, you know, dependent on the different hardware. Um, as far as the CR48 goes, though, it's pretty good. Um, the official rated battery life is about 8 hours and uh, 8 days on standby. Um, now, I haven't actually spent a whole 8 hours testing it. Um, I have tested it, brought it down from about 100% to about 30% battery, which took me about four and a half to five hours, but do keep in mind that that was continuously having mini tabs open, um, running flash, watching videos and everything, so um, I would say that that eight hours does seem pretty, uh, I would say that's about right. Um, will it have an ultra keyboard? Yes. Um, now, unfortunately, I can't show you guys that. Of course, I'm actually streaming on the CR48, if you guys are, uh, well, if, if you're in the chat, you already know that, but I'm actually streaming on the CR48, so I can't quite show you, but the keyboard is actually different and in a really good way. Um, so some of the differences that they've done is they've actually removed the caps lock key, so now it's a search key, it opens up a new tab, which I love, um, if you guys know I hate caps lock. Um, but the top row of function keys has also been removed, and it's uh, replaced with a variety of different buttons. So you have the escape button, you actually have a dedicate button to go back and forth, uh, or back and forth in the browser, refresh, you can change windows, um, you can go uh, turn, change the brightness of the screen, as well as the... Uh, the, the uh, the volume of your, your uh, speakers and your headphones. So uh, the keyboard, yeah, it is changed for Chrome OS, and I, I gotta say, I absolutely love it. Uh, the CR48 keyboard is really nice. It's got a nice island style, which you guys, I'll, I'll show you. I'll talk all about that in the review. But uh, yeah, Chrome OS will have a new keyboard, and from what I've seen so far, I'm gonna love it. It's it's a really nice keyboard. Um, if you have multiple tabs open, will they all run at an equally fast speed? No. Uh, <laughs> this does kind of choke up a little bit when you start opening up a lot of tabs. But again, I do want to stress that that's hardware. That doesn't have anything to do with Chrome OS. Um, you know, it's just got an Intel Atom chip and two gigabytes of RAM. So, you know, when you're opening a lot of, uh, you know, multiple tabs at the same time, and everything, it will kind of get a little uh, slow down, laggy, little glitches. Well, maybe not glitches, but it'll be a little bit slow. Um, but that can be totally changed depending on what kind of uh, computers that we actually see Chrome OS. Um, I, I kind of am guessing that we'll see just like a net standard what, uh, netbook running Chrome OS, but for all we know, they might be more powerful. So, you know, it's just going to depend on once it comes out and, you know, what we see. Um, is there a music player in Chrome OS? No, not, uh, not directly. Uh, like, pretty much the only way to listen to music is going to be to actually go online to find some store like GrooveShark or something like that. There's no... Um, file browser or anything like that. There, um, there's a rudimentary file browser you can kind of get take a look at it, but um, I doubt that's actually going to be available uh, when Chrome OS is actually uh, fully done. I think it's mostly just the CR48. And even though you can take a look at the files, there's not a whole lot you can do with them. So um, I do know that they do plan on supporting SD cards and uh, you know hard drives and stuff. And this does have an uh, SD card reader, although it doesn't actually work just yet. So you, it will have a file browser, probably able to open you know like images and you know PDFs and a few things like that but for the most part you're not going to be able to look, take a look at music and that kind of thing. Um, when will it come out? Uh, you know actually that's a good question. Um, it was really originally supposed to be out by the end of last year. Um, they had to push that forward. Instead they've been sending out a lot of these CR48s to various reviewers and people to go ahead and test them out. Um, now I do, they have said that it will be out this year and um, I, don't, I don't actually know when it will be out. Hopefully in the next few months. Uh, from using uh, Chrome for the past little while, um, it seemed to be pretty stable. I definitely noticed that there are some glitches. It's not 100% done, but um, I do believe that they're getting closer. Uh, so I would guess maybe three, four, five months before it is released. Anyway, guys, that's it for my Google Chrome uh, OS questions video. Um, hopefully this answered all of your questions. If you have any more questions about Chrome OS or the CR48, feel free to leave them in a comment below, or you can just check my channel where I have a wide variety of other Chrome OS videos. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.